contest here in Indianapolis. 2K Sports and the NBA welcomes you to our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. They've got Derek Harper. He's out there with Finley and Green. And for the Pacers, and Jackson. One thing that obviously stands out for Dallas off the 27 road wins, which was number one in the NBA last season. What a great road record. Only 14 losses away from home. Extremely impressive and a big improvement from the year before as well, Kevin. They were sub-500 on the road in 09, but last year they played like every court was their home court. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, I was able to catch up with the head coach of the Mavericks. He told me the key to this matchup is going to be their ability to control the paint at their own end. Against a team like this, he said you have to make them work for those points on the inside, guys. Thanks again, Doris. Poked loose. He got caught napping. You've got to pay attention and protect the ball. Number nine. The shot is off. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. That turnaround by the Mavericks we were just talking about, it put them, Clark, back atop the Western standing. Certainly, and just think about those numbers. I mean, there are a lot of teams that didn't come close to 27 wins the whole season, and the Mavs got that number just on the road. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Very much so. Here's Miller. Leads him with the pass, and he slams it home. Here's the replay on the Sprite Slam Cam. Boy, he can produce some rim rattlers, Kevin. This guy can fly. Well, the whole building, Clark, knows what's going to happen when he goes up. Here's Harper. 57 seconds left in the first quarter. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy bats. Good foul. On the change here for the Pacers. And the second free throw, good. Here's Jackson. He's guarded by Harper. Outside Jackson. Releases from 15. Can't get it to go. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. The lob was a little misjudged and he couldn't get control of it. Number 45. Randall pulls it in off the glass. Indiana on D. Green up on top. Deflected. And look at what they've done, or rather what they haven't done. Hold on to the ball. They've had four turnovers already this quarter. Here's Jackson. Plays it in with the finger roll. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. Here's Finley. Nails it from the top of the key. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. We're at the end of the first, and it's a close one. It's the Pacers up by one. Yeah, they've done a great job of pressuring the ball and coming up with steal. It's hard to win if you can't protect. And the second quarter getting underway. It's been a close one so far. Here's Jackson. And for the Pacers, a 32 and 50 record overall last season, number 10 in the Eastern Conference. Not what they expected, Kevin, but at home, the Pacers did end up 23 and 18. And Miller. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. And so here is Dallas. They trail by one. Got a piece of it. Davis down low. And Clark, home court advantage really can be a huge boost to a team, can it? And you find it being the case more with younger teams, Kevin, because it really does give a team like that a burst of energy. But for any team, it helps. Here's Finley. Dampier snatches it inside. Kevin, he'll miss those layups off. Interior D made him think about that one. Throws up. And Davis can't get it to go. When you settle for that kind of shot, that's a wasted possession. That is not a high percentage look. Here's Finley. Now Harper. Rebounded by Jackson. You can't deal up a layup any better than that. Nice work. Here's Miller. On the money. Miller's got his first two points. If they go with the quick shot here, that would leave him with the final possession. Here's Brad. Oh! That dunk made a statement right there. Well, putting on a show, Clark, such an impressive move. Here's Jackson. 28 seconds left in the second. 
Pass to Miller. The tray. Shots good. Miller's got five now. They struggled a bit in the first, but you can clearly see that their energy is picked up here in the second. Here's Harper. Nets it from the wing. Here's Jackson. The dub off. From 17 feet out. Rips it off the back line. Really not enough defensive pressure there to force that miss. He's got to be disappointed. And that concludes the first half. Back up to Minneapolis. Thanks so much for joining us for HB at the Half. I'm Damon Bruce with a terrific game going on in Indiana. The Pacers have been rolling along. They've shown those for getting the ball, jumping into passing lanes, picking guys clean. That's been a key. And for the Mavericks, it's a grinded out effort. They're putting on a clinic offensively, and they're really starting to click. A nice contribution by Willie Green. Lighten up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan and Clark Kellogg calling your game. I'll see you next time. The second half is now beginning. It's been a close one. Neither team has been able to get an edge. Here's Jackson. You hate to say it so often, but it is what it is. Another early exit in the playoffs last year for these Mavericks. They spent so much money, another disappointment for them. You know what? It just shows you how difficult it is to have postseason success, Kevin. It's really hard. Teams like the Lakers and Celtics have made it look easy in the past, but it's a difficult thing to do. I mean, heck, that's, um, most teams are good to Mavericks, yeah. but they run into teams that typically um, are able to have their number. They look great on paper, have a great regular season, but then in the postseason, the matchups get the best of them. On the court for the Mavericks. Finley is up there with Derek Harper. Then there's Willie Green and Bradley. Here's Jackson. Finley is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul. They were talking about Dallas in the postseason. How do you lose the label of being soft in the playoffs? What can they do, Clark? Just, you mentioned the word matchups. That's, that's what the playoffs are, matchups. But when you're labeled soft, that's a, that's a team label. Yeah. And sometimes I think that can be unfair. Yeah. I think the Mavericks have been more of a finesse team. But in recent years, they have shown some physicality as well. And sometimes your physicality just doesn't match up to your opponent. That doesn't mean you're soft. That just means you may not have as much as the team you're facing. Indiana leading. Here's Jackson. Right side Davis. Pass to Miller. Stolen away. It's so easy to get the ball stolen, Kevin, if you're not paying attention. You got to keep your head locked into the defense and the game. That free throw missing. The Pacers making a switch here. Good on the second free throw. And Indiana has possession. They lead by one. A steal. Your team doesn't need that mistake. You got to be efficient. Seven second difference. Shot and game block. Here's Finley. Good from 11 feet out. He's got six. That was a terrific possession for them. They got the shot they wanted and knocked it down. Miller, right side. Over Bradley. It's blocked. Now Finley. Six points for him. That will count. What a big time shot to beat the buzzer. You got to be cool and confident to hit a shot like that. He is, and he delivers. Some great basketball so far as we end the third quarter. Mavericks lead by four. As the fourth quarter gets one, our Sprite Spark of the Game. Presented by Sprite. Hey, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the Spark of the Game with that big push we saw. They came out of halftime chomping at the bit, made their run in the third, and are staying with it, guys. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Here's Harper. And Davis. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Here's Harper, and another basket for Dallas. 
Here's Jackson. Outside, Davis. Catch the life. Second chance shot. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got his first puck in this one. Mavericks leading by four. And here is Harper. And Green gets it to go. Speed is only part of the equation here. He's not blinding quick, but he was determined to take that one to the rim. Jackson kicks to Davis. And the low post shot is good. Davis has got his second basket of the game. That's exactly the way you practice it. Hit the open man for the great look. Here's Finley. He's covered by Rhodes. Fires from the elbow. Finley can't get it to go. Evan, that's the kind of shot you want. You can't ask for better execution on offense, but sometimes they just don't fall. Weston Davis from deep. Can't get it to go. And Dallas the other way. Less than one minute left. Harper against Rose. Number five. Can't hit the jumper after freeing himself up at the pumping. Time is getting short now. If they don't get some quick points, game over. Fouled, and he was real close to getting the three-point opportunity. He'll go to the line for two. In the first, and that trims the lead to three. The Pacers making a switch here. Miller's checked in. Off on the second. That makes it a one-possession game. But I'm sure he wishes he could have that one miss back. Seven second different shot in game clock. Miller with a double team. Number five. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's the first. That gives him a four point cushion. The Pacers making a switch here. Can't connect on number two. And the Pacers call time here. They're losing by four. 18 seconds left to the fourth. Clark, what are your thoughts? Well, they need to stretch the game out here. Take a quick shot and then foul and hope they tighten up at the line. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, the head coach for the Pacers, had some instruction for his guys during that break. He told them, keep pushing hard to the end. Just finish out these last few minutes and we'll be able to come away with a W. Kevin? And so they'll try to extend the game with the intentional foul here. They needed to take that foul to stop the clock. That clock is not their friend at this stage of the game. Gets them both, and it's a three-point ball game. Big free throws, Kevin. Now they'll need a three to just stay alive. And the Pacers call time here. They trail by three. 14 seconds left in the game. Here's Davis. Takes it up. Kept alive. To tie it up. What? Fires top of the key. It's off. So it's an arrow victory for the Mavericks pulling out the W. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome, but maybe not so much with the margin. Well, that'll do it for us. For Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke, Kevin Harlan saying so long. And as we end the game, we bring you up Jordan Brand, player of the game.